Hey guys, it's Carrie. Some amazing animals and animal facts today. Leopard, body size and colour patterns varies geographically and reflects adaptions to particular habitats. They have a broad head and their massive skull allows for powerful jaw muscles. The leopard's scapula has specialised attachment sites for climbing muscles. They have long whiskers extending from dark spots on the upper lip and long whiskers in their eyebrows that protects their eyes while moving through dense vegetation. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Orangutan Bornean orangutans are arboreal and rarely descend to the ground. They generally live in the old growth forests, ranging from the lowland swampy areas, the peat swamps and flood prone dipterocarp forests produce more fruit than the dry forests and have a higher density of Bornean orangutans because they migrate depending on fruit availability. Dominant flanged males often have an established territory that will encompass multiple females' territories. The multiple females within the male's territory will copulate with him and produce his offspring. Orangutans have an enormous arm span. A male may stretch his arms two meters wide. Their standing height is about one and a half meters. When orangutans do stand, their hands nearly touch the ground. Male orangutans grow a beard and moustache when they become adults. Some male orangutans also grow cheek pads and throat pouches. They use large leaves as umbrellas and shelter to protect themselves from the rain. Rhinoceros I'm going to talk about the Indian rhinoceros or greater one-horned rhino. This single horn grows to 60 centimeters in length. Its thick silver brown skin folds into the shoulder, back and rump giving it an armored appearance. There are wart-like bumps on the upper legs and shoulders and very little body hair. The Indian rhino fights with its razor sharp lower outer incisor teeth, not its horn. These tusks can reach 13 centimeters in length among dominant males and inflict lethal wounds on other males competing for access to breeding females. Polar bear with reproduction, normally a female would not allow a male to be anywhere near her for fear of possibly being killed. It is essential that she builds up trust with the male that is approaching her. Once sufficient trust has been established, after a week or so of interactions, the female will allow the male to mount. Mating then carries on for several periods, sometimes in excess of two hours at a time, for several days in a row. Physiologically, this needs to happen for ovulation to occur and the egg to be fertilised. To facilitate this, the male polar bears have a bone in their penis called a baculum. Because the intensity of competition between adult males is significant and since larger males are more likely to outcompete smaller ones for mating privileges, through natural selection over the longer term, adult males have evolved to be roughly double the size of females. A polar bear cub stays with its mother 
until it is about two years old. Polar bears are highly intelligent and playful. Two or more bears sometimes form friendships that last for weeks or even years. Tiger, they have forward facing eyes rather than one on each side of the head. This provides binocular vision because each eye's field of vision overlaps creating a three dimensional image. Binocular vision enables them to accurately assess distances and depths which is extremely useful for manoeuvring within their complex environment and stalking prey. Tiger eyes have large lenses and pupils that increase the amount of light let into the eye. This characteristic helps the tiger with night vision and when there are low light levels. They have five different types of whiskers that detect sensory information. The mystacial whiskers are located on the tiger's muzzle and are used when attacking prey and navigating in the dark. The facial whiskers of the tiger are about 15 centimeters in length. Zebra, males use sounds and visual cues to assert their dominance. They may do this by baring their teeth, flattening their ears, kicking or biting other males. Territorial males often harass females into breeding with them using these same techniques. Immediately after the foal is born, it learns to imprint what its mother looks like, her distinctive scent and vocalizations. This allows it to directly follow its mother and can recognize the shape of the stripes on its mother's backside. Quagga is an extinct subspecies of the plain zebra that was endemic to South Africa until it was hunted to extinction. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.